Hello! In this video I'm going to show you that uh, Prusa Mark III or this is a clone but it has a Mark III S uh, solution with a multi metal unit uh, 2 S installed and I now got a new uh, plate for this one it's a Gecko Tech that I use for PLA and stuff like that now I got the texture sheet and I want to print the PHG on texture sheet I install that on the printer and now we're going to set up a hover profile for it we go here and there uh, settings hardware setup here you have different sheets uh, you can go on steel sheets here I already set up a gecko deck and I made one for the uh, smooth and uh, now the textured one I want to make a, a, a profile for that one too I go in this, I choose uh, select, uh, then go into seal sheets again, go down to the texture one and do a first layer calibration. For now I know that I have PTG uh, installed in my uh, tube number two so, and uh, the set offset is copied so I says continue, choose from filament two and I choose PhD. Now we have to wait. I'll be back as soon as it has uh, preheated and uh, done the first uh, initial checks. I'll be back. Okay, it just has done its uh, calibration dance, so now it's uh, feeding the filament from the menu finding a red tube the correct one loading filament into the whole time Now I can uh, turn on a knob to increase or decrease the height of the set. It's not easy for you to see on the camera, but... Uh... Yeah. Let's see the battery is uh, running out. Yeah, it has done its uh, job and uh, it's now retracting the filament back to the starting point. And uh, as I can see from the here, if I leave this, yeah, that's uh, what I'm happy with. And what you see here is that uh, it now has stored that setting. So if I later on I'm going to change between these uh, profiles, I only have to go down here to sheets. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can go back. You go into the menu, down to sheets, and here you can swap between texture, decotech. And I can also have uh, more if I want. Uh, one thing you also can do is that you can go into the menu 
go to the settings, hardware profile, hardware setup. I mean, I go to steel sheets, and uh, you can go down to one of these sheets, uh, for example, the texture one, and I can rename it. So here I can go in and give it a new name if I want, just by turning the knob. Press enter to go to the next uh, letter. So I can uh, set the name I want. You can also have uh, spaces. Okay. So, and when you are finished, we go back to previous menu. Yeah, mine. There you see the new name has come up in the menu. So I can go between my uh, get contacts. This one, or I can swap to texture. This one. What this does is uh, it uh, adjusts the set level height because the thickness of the plates are different, uh, and also it uh, uh, PTG. You need more uh, space between the plate and uh, nozzle. Therefore, uh, you need different uh, layer heights for the filament. I can also make one for texture ABS, for example, if I need that and I have an ABS that needs even more, even, uh, even closer. You can make own hardware powers for that. That was just a little bit about that. If you li uh, like this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, you can press the dislike button twice. And uh, I'm happy if you subscribe too for more. Cheers!